Hi, we're being told more and more about the problems of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and the need to plant trees and the need to drive down CO2 output. And it's so important when you plant trees to think about what their role is going to be. And of course, we've got the advantage here of planting lots of different trees, but they're fruit trees, they're productive. And what they're doing is they're absorbing carbon dioxide and they're creating um, plant growth. So I just wanted to explain to you that process because lots of people don't realize how much um, is actually being absorbed. This molecule that I'm holding up is actually a molecule of glucose, the building block of all the life on the planet. Everything that's living is using this as its building block, its platform, and it's got six carbon atoms in it. You can see them all joined in there, they're black, and then you've got the red oxygen atoms in there. There are six of those as well. And then there are 12 of these hydrogens. So this is a carbohydrate, the most basic one. It's called an organic molecule because it's got this carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen combination. And this can be made into all kinds of things. Cellulose, it can build cell walls, it can build plant fibers, it can make fats and lipids, it can make protein. You can do so much with this. And we consume plant material and animals, and we digest through glucose as well. So it's the building block of all life. But to actually make that, you need a few basic things. And one thing you definitely need is this, which is carbon dioxide. And this is the uh, culprit in many people's view of, uh, or the problem really, for causing global warming and generally uh, upsetting the sort of climate. But the CO2 levels are still quite low. They are rising and plants absorb CO2 to build up their plant tissues. And the other thing that they need is this, which is water, H2O. So when you're watering plants, you're giving them one of the raw materials to build up life. If you look at this tree, this is a beautiful tree. It's built entirely out of carbon dioxide and water and all the fiber that you can see on there, the wood, that's glucose molecules joined together. The leaves are all built around the glucose and into protein. And you've got this amazing structure, but you can imagine how much carbon you absorb when you plant a tree, when you look at one of these molecules. So you can see to build one of these glucose molecules, you need six of these molecules of carbon dioxide, and that takes it out of the atmosphere and stores it in this. And as you can see, this tree is based on this carbon that it's fixed. It's actually fixed that as wood, cellulose, all the different materials that are actually in that tree have been built upon a platform of glucose originally and then joined together. And then some of that carbon is actually pumped down into the ground and stored in the soil which is such an important carbon storage system.